What is happening, folks? Got a new battle today against uh, not the Fonz. We're using UU singles teams, and um, yeah, this battle was recorded <laughs> two months ago. I'm really sorry, not the Fonz. It's nothing against you. It's just how my update schedule works. Um, but so anyway, he leads off with his Ambipom, which of course is going to go for the obvious fake out. Um, but even though it's got the technician boost, Patrick is a freaking uh, wall, and it really doesn't hurt that badly. It does get the flinch, and that's sad, but whatever. I guess it's still free, free damage for him. Anyway, on the next turn, he gets a um, technician boosted uh, payback, which is a lot more than I was expecting. Um, but Patrick does survive, and I am able to set up the Stealth Rocks, which is Patrick's whole point um, on, as a lead. I mean, he has other purposes on the team, but as a lead, he's just there to set up Stealth Rocks. So anyway, I go ahead and pull him back, um, because, you know, don't want to take any more paybacks. And I go ahead and switch into my Steelix. Really, I should have switched out on the first turn, considering he was faster than me anyway, um, because Steelix can also use Stealth Rocks. Um, and as you see, Payback is not going to do anything to him, and I don't think anything's going to do anything to him. Um, but so anyway, he calls back his Alfonso. No, sorry, he is Alfonso. He calls back his um, Ambipom and switches into Slowbro. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he figured I was going to do, um, but I'm going for the Earthquake, and it's going to do a fair amount of damage. Oh, because it gets a crit. Okay, that's not exactly fair. Um, so yeah, it does a whole lot of damage, but only because it was a crit. Uh, if it hadn't been for that, it would have been less than half. And so he's actually faster than me. It's really funny. It's, um, you know, it's not much that's slower than a slow bro, um, but Steelix does count, and um, anyway, I do another Earthquake, and as you see, it does a lot less damage this time around without the crit. And so he goes ahead and goes for Calm Mind, um, and I'm just going to have none of that. I'm really worried about this, steel, uh, this uh, slow bro sweeping through my team, so um, I go ahead and go for the uh, another Earthquake. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to do some damage to this thing. Um, it keeps on slacking off, and it's completely stalling me out. Um, although I really think that probably a Surf, uh, there's a good chance Surf would have one hit KO'd me. But anyway, I go for the Explosion, um, just to get rid of that Slowbro, um, and that is that for him. But I lose my physical wall, and so maybe that wasn't the best choice. I don't know. Um, it could have been a mistake on my part, but I do take out that Slowbro, and now I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that is nice. Um, so anyway, I consider who to send out next, considering I don't know who he's going to send out. And I decide I'm going to go with Kyoko, my, um, <clears throat> Glaceon. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends out his Ambipom again, um, and, yeah, racks up some Stealth Rock damage, but that's really neither here nor there. Um, and I go ahead and send out my Kyoko, and I don't want to take the, um, the fake out damage, so I go ahead and call it back, and go ahead and send out my Rotom, um, which, you know, the fake out is just not going to do anything to it. Um, and I figure that I should probably be faster, um, but instead he's faster and goes for the payback, which amazingly is a one-hit KO. I was not expecting it to one-hit KO, but that's what Technician will do for you, and I was really surprised that he outsped me. Um, I guess most uh, MB palms I've faced in the past uh, don't run max speed, um, but that's really too bad. Anyway, uh, next up for me is Blake, my Arcanine. Um, I, he hits me with Return. I'm just going to hit super hard, um, and uh, I foolishly uh, go for the Flare Blitz here. Had I gone for the Extreme Speed, good chance I could have taken him out um, with the priority, um, but instead, that's just going to KO both of my uh, both of us. No, no, wait, I survived with just a little bit of HP, but unfortunately I had the Life Orb, rec life orb Recoil, so yeah, that is going to take me out too, which is Sad Pandas. So, yeah, we've just been trading a lot of KOs, um, I've had a lot of self-KOs going on, and it's really not the best situation for me. Uh, anyway, next out for him is his Luxray, um, I don't know why I said that, uh, that way, Luxray, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and send out my Glaceon yet again. Um, yeah, so he's going to intimidate me, which is neither here nor there, but I figure I can take this thing out, no problem. I mean, some of these guys do run uh, Ice or Fire Fang, um, but I'm not sure whether he will. And as you see, it does a fair amount of damage. Um, he's got uh, Citrus Berry, which is uh, rather unfortunate for me, considering... Uh, so, so the next turn, he goes ahead and Thunder Waves me. Or not the next turn, the same turn. Uh, so I get paralyzed, and that's just awful. That's just really awful. And so now he sets up a Light Screen, um, with my Glaceon completely crippled in terms of its speed. 
Um, and I'm gonna and I get the Parahax, which is absolutely awful. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it back. Luckily, I do have a cleric on this team. Yuxi is a very fine cleric, and will be able to um, get uh, get me non -para uh, paralyzed. Uh, his Mufasa goes ahead and attacks me with uh, Spark. Really doesn't do too much because. Yuxi is a physical wall, and I think probably a special wall too. It has amazing defenses. I don't remember exactly how AD trains at this point. Um, but anyway, so Heal Bell is going to get rid of that paralysis. He's going to go ahead and attack me again. But again, I'm just taking that, and barring a crit, you know, that's not going to kill me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Psychic here. Even though he's got the light screen up, I just figured out if he gets some damage. And I'm essentially just leaving um, Yuxi in for Death Fodder. Um, he goes ahead and sparks me, and I'm pretty sure this is the spark that will kill me. Um, and so Yuxi is down. It did a very good job, did exactly what it was supposed to, so I'm pretty happy. Um, it occurs to me, I've got Lumberry on this thing. I really could just run Rest as one of its moves. Um, I don't know, it might be a good idea. Anyway, even though I'm going against the type advantage, I'm going to go ahead and send out um, my Blastoise here, because my Blastoise is also really bulky, and he's obviously not EV trained that much in... Um, attack. So I go ahead and go for Water Spout, and as you see, it doesn't do that much damage. And I'm like, oh man, seriously? So he goes ahead and goes for the Spark yet again, um, but as you see, it really doesn't do too, too much, and so I'm going to get a little bit of Leftovers recovery. Uh, his Light Screen is going to go down this turn, and so I figure, you know, I'm still faster. If I go ahead and Water Spout him again, I could very well kill it. Um, and as you see, it just does... It just does not quite enough, and so now he's going to go ahead and Thunder Wave me, which is sad, sad for me. Um, Marilyn is paralyzed, but as long as I don't get Parahacks, I should be okay here. He's going to go ahead and Spark me yet again, um, and that does more damage than it seemed to last time, but um, it doesn't matter, I wasn't going for Water Spout, I was going for a nice safe Ice Beam, and that is enough to KO. Um, so bye bye Luxray, and this match is going pretty much neck and neck. I think we're, we've each gotten three KOs. So um, that's pretty nice. So Marilyn gets a little bit of leftovers recovery, um, and next out for him is going to be Venusaur. And if by any strange miracle I'm faster, I'm going to be able to get a super effective Ice Beam off. Yeah, so... Oh wait, I only have two Pokemon left, and he has three. Oh, that's sad. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. Yeah, I lost count at some point. Um, so, but he, of course he's faster because, you know, Venusaur has higher base um, speed and usually is EV trained in speed. And so that uh, energy ball is going to be enough to take me out. Um, and he gets a little bit of leftover, or Black Sludge recovery rather, on his end. Um, but now up for me is going to be Kyoko, and if he didn't max out his speed, there's a good chance I'm going to outspeed. And indeed I do get off a super effective Ice Beam, and thanks to the fact that Glaceon has one of the highest um, special attacks in the game. So, like, well, maybe it's not that high, but it's pretty high. Um, I am able to one-hit KO that sucker. Um, I'm just looking this up at this point. Glaceon. Um, what's going on in the battle now? Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I get... He, get, he crits me with a... Um, with a close combat, and that is enough to win him the match. So... Good game, um, not the Fonz. Uh, I hope people in the audience have enjoyed it. Uh, please challenge me. If you still play PBR and you have a UU singles team, please challenge me. I don't want to put this thing on random Wi-Fi because it's going to get massacred. Um, so comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.